Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do this kind of sultry brown smoky eye. This is an any occasion smoky eye if it's your birthday, if you're going out for dinner. I wore it on Saturday night. In fact, I wore it on Saturday in my daily vlog. So I do daily vlogs on my vlog channel. I'll have them linked in a card and linked in the description box if you'd like to go and, and watch them and subscribe. That would just mean the world to me. But I wore this makeup in my Saturday vlog and lots of you guys commented that you wanted to see a tutorial on the look. So here I am, obliging as ever. For my skin primer today, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Mineral one. This is a really lightweight one not too slippy not too oily feeling and then for my foundation I'm gonna throw back a little bit with my makeup forever ultra HD I hadn't used these in so long and I just saw them in my drawer and thought you know what I'm gonna dig you out again so I'm mixing a couple of different shades just because I have a little bit of false tan on so just so that it matches me and this foundation is said to be best applied with a beauty blender or a sponge and um, it does apply beautifully with the sponge, but I want really lightweight coverage. It's quite a full on coverage foundation. So I'm using this really dense buffing brush just so I can really work it into the skin and spread it really thinly so that it doesn't really sit too heavy on my skin. And this is like 10 times faster than using a beauty blender. And for my concealer, I'm gonna use the MAC Studio Finish and I'm actually mixing a couple of different shades in this as well, just to get a good match for my under eye area. And I'm gonna take that concoction, that mix of shades around my nose as well, where I'm red and these little blemishes on my chin. And to set the concealer under my eyes, I'm gonna take the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW15, which is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, just so I can keep that area a bit brighter. And then to set everywhere else, I'm using this gorgeous cosmetics powder. This is just their Perfect or Powder Perfect Press Powder in uh, 02 PP. This is just a really, really lightweight powder. There's not a whole heap of coverage, um, but it's really mattifying. For my bronzer, I've recently been experimenting with crayon, like stick contour bronzer kind of products, and I've really been enjoying how natural they look on the skin. So I'm gonna take the Tarte Sculptor Contouring Stick, and it's way too warm on my skin to be a contour. Like it's really warm, but it does make a beautiful bronzer shade. And it's quite a silicone, like slippy product. So it's very easy to blend in, even if you've already powdered your skin. And whoa, I have done that completely unsymmetrically. <laughs> but you can see I'm placing it not in a contour way. So I'm putting it much higher on my cheekbones than I would for a contour. And I'm also I'm just gonna go back on what I said. Not really as a contour so much on my nose, but just to give a little bit of kind of bronzy shade there. here too. And I'll take the brush that I've been using for my concealer to buff that in around the nose. So it's a bit more precise. So I'm gonna use another cream product on my cheeks. This is one of the Smashbox Blendable Lip and Cheek Colors in Echo Park Pink. I, am, I love these products. I have a few different colors. Um, this one I think might be my favorite though, just because it gives such a beautiful bright pop of color on the cheeks. So they just give, they give just a really nice creamy sheen on the skin and they're very easy to blend in. It's gonna make your skin look really fresh. So I just dot it on the apples, kind of the apples and a little bit further back and then just take, this is such a great brush for um, buffing in cream products and just kind of dab it in. You want to be careful not to kind of 
buff a little bit too aggressively when you've got your foundation on already because you kind of run the risk of lifting the foundation and caking the product into any powder products that are on your skin. So if you just use like light dabbing motions, you'll kind of spread the product out quite evenly, but keep it on that top layer. Okay, onto the eyes. First of all, I'm gonna take my very sorry looking MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I have been meaning to replace this for months. So this is gonna even out the skin tone on my eyelid and also help my eyeshadow to last a bit longer. I'm gonna kind of flick that through my eyebrows as well, just so it gives my eyebrow powder something to grip onto. So for my eyeshadow today, I'm using a very beautiful, precious product. This is one of the Tom Ford Eye Color Quads in Coco Mirage. <gasps> This is a loner, <laughs> Karima lent this to me because she created a tutorial, like a grungy eye look using this palette. And I commented that I really, really wanted to try the palette. And damn you Karima, you always make me want to buy the expensive things. So she lent it to me so that I could try it out and see if I like it and see what I could come up with. So if you are curious on having a, a look at another way of using this palette, I'll link Karima's video in a card up here. So I'm going to go into this color here. Let's chop off the excess. These are very, very, very beautiful eyeshadows. They're very blendable, very soft, and very pigmented. So I'm just dabbing this all over the eyelid, just about as far as my crease, where my socket is there. And before I blend that out, I'm just gonna take some of the ivory color here. This is a matte highlight shade, and I'm just gonna pop that on the brow bone. I'm gonna kind of bring it down to meet that brown color. And this is gonna help um, make any shades I put on in a second easier to blend. So when I'm gonna try and blend that brown color out, having this bone shade on there will make it so much easier to blend. And then switching to a slightly larger blending brush, I'm gonna go into this mid-tone beigey color. This is such a beautiful color. And I'm gonna go straight into the socket and use that as my transition shade. You see how beautifully they are blending out. Oh my God, this is fab. This is such a fab palette. It's always a good idea when you're blending out a smoky eye to have a mirror close up to you so you can kind of see in detail what you're doing, but also to have one a little bit further away that you can look at straight ahead with your eyes open so you can see how far up you've blended. Sometimes I find when I'm a little bit too close, I end up blending too high or not high enough. Um, and it kind of looks a bit different when you look straight ahead. So it's just good to have kind of a big picture of what your makeup looks like. I'm gonna go back into the first shade that we used and I'm gonna pop that on the lower lash line. And taking the fluffy brush that I used to apply that brow bone highlight to, I'm just gonna take that on the edge of that lower lash line, just to soften out and smoke out that color a bit. You might need to reapply after you blend that out actually. And just repeat that just so you keep the intensity. And then finally for this palette, I am gonna use all four shades. I'm gonna go into the dark matte brown on a pencil brush. And I'm gonna take that from the bottom outside corner. Whoa, so pigmented. <laughs> and just pull it up, almost like an eyeliner flick. And then drag it back in on the top lid. Might need to add a bit more. So we get that really nice elongated kind of feline shape. And just start blending that color across. And for my inner corner highlight, I'm actually gonna use a skin highlighter. This is Champagne Pop, the Jaclyn Hill 
um, highlighter with Becca and it makes such a beautiful eye highlight because it has all this beautiful gold shimmer or this gold sheen that really pops on the eye and actually it works really well when you layer it on top of that brown color it kind of the gold pops even more so I'm just gonna put this the whole way around the tear duct on that inside corner just kind of lightly fade it back into the brown color For eyeliner, I want it to be a little bit kind of smudgy and sultry, so I'm gonna use gel. And it doesn't need to be too perfect, but I'm gonna try and keep it relatively thin. And then just thicken it up a little bit on the outside, just to lift the outside corner. Extend it past the outside corner of my eye, just a fraction. And of course, let's get that upper waterline. And then before it completely sets, I'm gonna take this little smudgy brush and just soften the edge. Just makes the eye look so much bigger, doesn't it? Whoa, brought it out too far. Mayday, mayday. Disaster averted. And for my mascara, I'm using the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, which I love, I really, really do love this mascara. You'll see it's so black and so dramatic and really, it really does give like a false lash effect. But when I wore this on Saturday night, about halfway through the night, I went to the bathroom and I noticed that I did have quite a few black specks on my lower, like kind of right under my eye and it was from the mascara. So it is a flaker, which is kind of sad because it is, it's almost my perfect mascara, but just, not the most long wearing. Onto eyebrows, I've been rather enjoying brow powders recently. This is a Sigma one. And then just to soften them back and kind of set them, I'm gonna use some of the blonde gel from Anastasia. This is a little bit lighter than that brow powder, so it just kind of softens the look of them. I wanna add some highlight to my skin before I do my lips, and I'm gonna be using this Kryolan palette today. It's called the Illusion Sensation palette, and they're all cream, and they're all like pearly, glossy, oh, such beautiful colors. And this is the one that I used, and you can see I went a little bit too heavy handed with my finger and I like smushed it in there and they're quite soft. <laughs> this color is chiffon and I'm just gonna use my fingers. It has kind of a lilac tone to it, which is really unusual, but so beautiful. Like if you can see it on my thumb, that was a bad place to swatch. See, it has that like bluey lavender tone. It's quite interesting. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Am I a unicorn? And then finally for the lips is a new product. Oh, I love it so much. It's from Tarte. It is their lip sculptor. It's a duo lipstick and lip gloss. This is in the color basic. And I think this might be my favorite nude peachy pink that I have ever used. It is what you see. Look at that color. Oh, and they are so, like it's so pigmented. It is redonkulous and they're really creamy. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of MAC Subculture Lip Pencil just to add a tiny bit more definition. And I'll just finish with a touch of the gloss. the finished look. I feel like it's been quite a while since I've done just like a good old fashioned smoky eye on this channel. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I put out two makeup videos a week. And also, if you're interested, go check out my vlog channel. I think they're pretty good. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you very soon. Bye. At the studio, looking into what is essentially the sun. 
check out that light. It is so bright. We are about to record. I'm vlogging in case you think I'm talking to myself. <laughs> We're gonna record a video using some of these products, which are all kind of variations on cushion makeup. And right now, I'm gonna put a little bit of eye makeup on. I did actually think you might be speaking to yourself. 